Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are gonna be redesigning and redecorating our coat cupboard in our hallway, which sounds very dramatic, but I have been wanting to do this project for so, so long as soon as we moved into this house and we had like a designated space to put all our coats, shoes and stuff. I knew I wanted to do a fun project because what's there at the moment is great, but it doesn't work for us and it it's a bit, a bit grubby and a bit dated. So we are gonna be completely transforming this little cupboard in our hallway, making it far more aesthetically pleasing and practical as well. Okay, so this is our cupboard as it is now and it is a complete mess. So we have a few of these shoe racks from Ikea. It's not enough, all our other shoes are just kind of dumped in there. Um, we have, this situation does not work. Obviously this is just what was left with the house, but there is a rail along here which is just really annoying and in the way. There's loads of like little random hooks on the sides there, which aren't that useful for anything that we would want it for. Um, we've got four coat hooks at the back. Um, and then we have this huge kind of like chipboard shelf, which isn't ideal either. So I'm gonna start by just basically emptying this cupboard, ripping everything out. Um, so we can kind of like redesign it how we want it. Okay, it is all emptied out so we can properly see what we're working with. So carpet is obviously gonna go, we're run a, gonna run this flooring in there because we actually have loads of spare packs and we have loads of offcuts as well, which we can just use. Um, so plan is, I think I've, I've got some spare shelving in the garage, which we ripped out of the lounge in case you guys remember we first moved in. Where our TV is now, there was loads and loads and loads of shelving. I actually kept it all just in case, and we still have that in our garage. So I'm gonna reuse it for this coat cupboard project because obviously it saves us money on material, and I also like that we're putting stuff back in the house that was originally here when we moved in. I don't know, something about that I just really like. So I'm thinking of doing a few shelves for our shoes and stuff down here, which will go the whole width. Um, I have ordered, some more hooks. I've got one which has six hooks on it, so we'll have a couple more hooks at the back. But I think I'm actually gonna hang it a bit higher. This is sort of like just above chest level for me, and I feel like they could be a lot higher, which gives us a little bit more clearance room down here for shoes. I'm gonna remove this shelf. I will be putting another shelf a lot higher up. Just random things like shopping bags and hats, like this cupboard goes up so, so high. Um, so for stuff that we just don't need to access that often, it's handy to have a shelf, but it doesn't need to be this giant one. Like at the moment, this is head height for me, so I could easily bang my head on this. So if I just move it up a bit more like there and have it a more shallow one at the back, I think that'll work a lot better for what we want. So <laughs> everything is currently hung up here. So thank God we did this little hallway project because we still have access to all our coats and stuff like that. So I'm gonna remove all of this stuff. We'll need to do a little bit of filling, a little bit of sanding, bit of painting. Um, yeah, then we can start putting stuff back in. Okay guys, so the cupboard is completely empty. I have removed everything. I filled in all the holes, removed all the screws, 
I have also pulled off the skirting board in there. The carpet is all gone. It is very much a full on blank canvas in there now. Whilst the filler was drying, we've just popped out and done a food shop. Um, it is absolutely miserable outside. There is literally like no sunlight today. Um, but I thought what would be good is if I just sand everything down and get a coat of paint on it now. I've spoken to you about the layout I'm gonna go inside, but I haven't spoken to you about what I want it to look like. So I popped to be in queue yesterday, day before, I can't remember now, um, and I grabbed some paint. I'm not gonna lie, I've gone for a really cheap paint in here because it's just a cupboard, but also I'm thinking of using the same color in our, what do you call it, like a laundry cupboard? It's got a washing machine and stuff in. So they have these on offer. They're from that brand, Good Home. I actually use their furniture paint all the time and I love it. I've never tried this. It's the tough and durable Good Home paint. I think these are two and a half liters and it was like two for 30 pounds, I think, which was quite a bit cheaper than all the other paint. I got it in the shade Louisville in a matte, um, a matte, finish and i just did a little sample on here we're going dark and moody um so i was toying with what to do in there um what was going to be durable but also look kind of cool and i thought like we've not gone dark anywhere in the house everything's very much white pristine so i thought i would just like go dark and i know a lot of people would say oh but it's a dark cover don't paint it dark but i think it's gonna look really cool so i'm gonna paint it all dark including the ceiling all of it's gonna be dark I think it's going to look really cool. The coat rack I got is black. Got some other stuff going there as well. But I think what I've got in my mind, it will just look really cool in the end. Oh my god this looks so cool camera is not doing it justice it looks super 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 dark on camera but i love the color of this so it is like a really dark color obviously um but it has like a really nice kind of slightly bluey greeny undertone to it so it looks like it's just black on camera and i promise it's not it's got such a nice like deep rich tone to it and it is an optical illusion because the cupboard looks bigger now. I think I forgot to show you what it looks like when it was proper empty. But it looks huge, like, compared to when it was lighter. So I've gone all the way up to the ceiling. Um, the first coat, like, the coverage is so good. Oh, God, this lighting is doing it no justice. Um, but, yeah. The coverage is so, so, so good, which I'm really impressed because online this paint had some seriously mixed reviews. So far I'm pretty impressed, but I will say that it is really runny. Um, like the consistency is just quite runny, so it's really messy to work with, but the coverage is really good. So far I'm impressed. It's gonna need a second coat, which is no shock, but the second coat is literally just gonna be to like touch up these little patchy bits and that's it. Um, so yeah. It looks so rank on camera, I can't even explain, but I'm really, really happy with how this is looking now. So I need to check how long it needs to dry. I think it's just a few hours and then I can do a second coat. And then I'm hoping tomorrow we can get started with installing some of the shelving systems and things like that. And the flooring, of course, as well. I will also be putting skirting board in here, the same as what I've done everywhere else, but I think I'm gonna paint it dark as well.
Okay, so flooring and skirting is in. I left a little gap there so I can attach the threshold bar to the subfloor, whatever you call it. The skirting board, I actually went for a smaller one just because it's only a cupboard and I just had off cuts that I thought would be good to use. Um, I've also taped it up just because I'm going to install the shelves. Then I'm going to prime everything, paint everything. So I thought it'd be easier to tape that up when there's nothing in there just now. So plan now is I've just got these boots out because those are probably, I'm thinking boots on the first shelf. And then I think we do two shelves above it. I think I've got enough to do another one, but I'm going to see how I get on. So I'm going to kind of like measure where I want my first shelf to be to make sure that I can fit like boots on the bottom and then the next shelves will be a lot shallower because it'll only be like trainers and things like that so i have basically got this piece of wood um this is actually left over from the radiator project i did so what i'm going to do is cut little kind of um little blocks i'm going to attach the blocks to the wall and then the shelf will sit on top i know that some people would do the block and then do an angle cut here um, so that you don't see it as much i'm not too bothered i'm just going to do them as blocks because i am lazy and it's just a shoe cupboard i think it will look really good it's all going to be painted the same color anyway so you won't really notice it as much and they're low down so yeah i'm just going to cut loads of these little strips out now the same kind of width as the shelf and then get it all installed Okay, so the first shelf is in. Kind of challenging because <laughs> the cupboard isn't perfectly square, which isn't shocking, but um, I need to trim this shelf down a little bit more because it's a little bit tight. But just to show you what I've done, I've basically attached these kind of bits of wood on either side, just with wall plugs and multi-purpose screws. And I've basically just placed the shelf on top. But that is the first one. I think I'm gonna do another two above this. So I think that is, I mean, I've done that way higher than I needed to, but I think that's fine. <laughs> I actually just realized why it's so high. I put that piece of tape there to remind me how high to do it. I was meant to do it from the bottom of the tape, not the top. So <laughs> Steve's laughing in the other room. That's why that one's so high. It's not the end of the world. We still have plenty of room. Um, but I'm an idiot. So I'm going to keep this one in and use it just to kind of like use as a guide to do the other one so I know how much higher I have to do. So I think I'm going to do one, two, and then that one at the top I said I was going to do as well. Okay, and the shelves are all in sorry i didn't really feel much of it but it's difficult when i'm kind of like in the cupboard but we have our boot storage down here one two three shelves for like trainers and all sorts um i just got steve to help me hang up a coat just to see how much room we'd kind of have so we're going to have our coat hook quite high which works really well for us then i measured where we could put the shelf for like hats and stuff this is super super high but again, for us, like it works absolutely fine. So plan now is obviously you can see it's very dusty and dirty in here now. I'm going to take all of these shelves out. I'm going to give it a good clean, get rid of all of the dust and stuff. And then I will be painting everything. So the skirting, the little brackets and the shelves, I'm going to paint separate. Um, but I'm going to be doing a coat of the Zinsa Primer that I have. And then I'm just going to be going in with the same emulsion paint that I put on the walls. So it all blends in. Nicely, and then hopefully at some point our hooks from Amazon will arrive and we can install those as well. Home to me once 
Okay, so it's the next day. Did another coat on the cupboard last night, so that was drying overnight. That's all good to go now. But these arrived last night. So these are the hooks that I got from Amazon, which I'm gonna be putting up on that back wall. We could have fit quite a few more hooks on. So there's six on this one. I was toying with getting two with four hooks each, so there would've been eight in total. But Steve and I had a chat about it, and we were like, look, the more hooks that are in there, the more we're going to be like just putting coats on it for the sake of it. And we do actually have a spare wardrobe where we can leave like coats that we don't wear that often. So the plan is just to have six hooks, which to be fair is two more hooks than we had before. But we will only have like our essential, like what we're wearing, you know, regularly kind of on there. And then I nearly forgot as well. I grabbed these from Ikea ages ago. Obviously you guys know that we have dogs and I thought these would be really cute. Little fun dog booty hooks to go on the back of the doors so that we can hang their leads and stuff so when we want to take them for a walk um we can just easily grab them from the back of the door we know where they are they're not lost in the cupboard so i thought those would be really cute and quite practical actually um so i got three of those to go on so i thought i'd really quickly show you what i'm going to use to attach these because firstly this back wall here is just a plasterboard like stud wall and obviously the coat rack at the back could potentially hold a fair bit of weight so this is what i usually use so you can just pick these up from screw fix tool station wherever and they are specific kind of plasterboard metal plugs that you just screw in they come with nails and everything like screws and everything but they're really really sturdy they can hold like a decent amount of weight and then for the door um so these doors are actually hollow so i got one of um a pack of these i think i just got these on amazon actually they come in a variety of different sizes they're specifically for like hollow fixings but they're a bit of like a lighter one so obviously you can see those little arm things kind of hold it in but i thought i would use some of the smaller ones to put the doggy hooks on the back of the door there so yeah all there's left to do now is just get those bits up clean it all up because you can see there's those like dust and paint in there and then stock the cupboard back up and we'll see what it looks like
okay so the cupboard is all done we are in love like i said this was just a little weekend project didn't take too much time and effort but it just made such a big change because it was a complete dumping ground before because it didn't work for us it was impossible to keep it tidy organized so this is what it's looking like now We are obsessed. I love the dark colour. I know some people may say like, oh, isn't it too dark? And it is so, so difficult to film it and do it any justice, but it doesn't make it feel dark whatsoever in there. Um, there's enough light that kind of gets into when we open the door anyway. I did kind of toy with the idea of adding a little sensor light. If we do struggle with that in the future, we can add that in. That's no problem. Just like a little battery operated sensor light, but we are just absolutely in love with this. It works perfectly for us. So we have like the shelf at the top, which basically we've just kept that for like shopping bags, kind of things that we just don't really need, like extra shopping bags that we don't need regularly. And then we'll keep like our regular ones in the car. I was gonna put hats up there as well, but I actually ended up adding a, just a couple of little nails on the sides as well, just to add our kind of hats and stuff. Um, so they're just a bit easier to grab. So it's nice just to have a designated space for everything we didn't have that before everything was just all over the place really unorganized um so hopefully now that we've got this all set up it'll be a lot easier for us to kind of keep it clean but the change from like the before and the after is just like night and day it's so so different it actually looks so much bigger i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to follow along for lots more home renovation makeover videos coming up very very soon and i will catch you guys in the next one